Welcome, my name is Christian, and I work with the sales team here at Codeware. Today, I want to show you the capabilities of Inspect to analyze crack-like flaws on ASME Section 8 pressure vessels and heat exchangers, as well as ASME B31.3 process piping and B31.4 transportation piping using the rules of Part 9 from API 579. We'll be using the pressure vessel example that you see on the screen to add a crack-like flaw and we'll do a level 2 assessment. To begin, we're going to start by going to the top of the screen and selecting the API 579 button. Here we'll see a drop-down menu listing all the parts available in API 579 and then we'll select part 9. This will bring up the first crack-like flaw dialog where we will start by selecting the analysis type level 1 or level 2, as well as the location, orientation, and assessment conditions. For the level 2 assessment, we will need to add additional information such as the crack length, crack direction, and if the crack is located near a weld seam, which, along with the geometry of the component, will determine the relevant SIF solutions. In this next dialog, Inspect automatically determines a stress profile for the primary, secondary, and residual stress based on the information that we've entered. The user also has the ability to manually define these stress profiles and Inspect will still select the appropriate SIF solution based on the input method selected. As you can see, by selecting one of the available input methods, Inspect will show you the SIF solution used as well as a preview to the calculations performed. In this dialog, we will also need to enter our material toughness using one of the calculation methods listed here from part nine. Before we move on to running our calculations, Inspect provides a tool to determine a limiting flaw size curve by iterating various crack sizes until a respective size fails. As we will see in our report, this can be a valuable tool for engineers to understand how the growth of a crack can affect the reliability and safety of the equipment. Now we will run our analysis by selecting F3. In our report, we will go to the section for our crack-like flaw, where we will see the details about our flaw and our result summary. Going further down the report, we will see all of the detailed calculations as well as our limiting flaw curve. From this flaw curve, we can see the current state of the flaw and how much growth the flaw can experience in either depth or length before failing the assessment or lying outside of the scope of our current assessment. If you'd like to see a live demonstration of Inspect or you have any questions, please reach out to our sales team by email at sales at codeware.com or by phone at area code 941-927-2670. Thank you for watching.